The provision of street lights is one of the landmark projects being executed by Governor Godwin Obaseki administration in Edo State, which is not restricted to Benin City, the state capital, but to some other major towns in the state. The street lights, beside other socio-economic benefits, is obviously helping to check security challenges in the benefiting areas. What is however worrisome is the level of destruction and vandalism of this critical infrastructure. Could this unwholesome act be a deliberate effort by some persons to discredit the present administration in Edo State for selfish gains? This respondent, Mr. Osase Osamuyue, Okwedo Festus, and Mrs. Pretty Jane Ozowuru speak on the benefits derivable from the street lights since their installation. Since the, since the practice of uh, street light on this street, Dr. Uhubi has helped me to avoid of, uh, crime, to reduce crime, because uh, crime is normally done uh, in, in the, at night, in the dark. But, but, but the funny thing is that when vehicles hit it, some of them will just run away, feeling of concern, and that is no good, that is not open society. That. The street light they help us. For where? You can see those lights. For where? For the street light. The street light being vandalized is not a good idea, it's not the best. On how to check the destruction and vandalism of the street lights, Freedom Ogeriaki and the other respondents gave this advice. But I will suggest if the government can put security in place to monitor. Because this vandalism you will see that is not normally done in the daytime. I'm not sure it's being done in the daytime because they are doing it, people will see them. But I believe it's being done at night. As we got to vandalism and destruction, CCTV, uh, poles and uh, cables. I think we passed that stage. We need to put, fix CCTV cameras on electric poles. Probably two or three poles. One can cover for two or three poles to cover for these things. Benedict Okati, EBS News.